Welcome to the Philippines and welcome to Marlboro. Day one, we are diving Kasai Wall, which is here, and Pangasama Beach. I think I'm saying that right. Pangasama Beach. So Kasai Wall, Pangasama Beach. We are here, Kasai Village.
Panagsama. Because in this area before, like 1960s, 1970s, this is like a small forest, a lot of big trees here. 1984, I think. From here, this coastal area is just like sand, white sand. Try to remember that sometimes if you're in the school, in the middle of the school of service, you can get lost because your body will not see you when you are in the middle of the school. So we have to be like go together. giant step.
Okay, day two. We are diving out on the island. We're diving Pescador. Sounds interesting. And then we've got Dolphin House as dive number two. And this afternoon we're back at Pangasama Beach. Um, this is where the sardines are. We saw them yesterday. Lots of sardines. The dive site, but the sardines. Pescador Island is a Latin word of fishermen. Most of the time, they carry it from the south. This is the south part of the island, and then we have the north there. Most of the time, the current is split. We have this way, and we have also that way. But I am thinking to do the right shoulder dive, which we are going to this direction. Dolphin house, but do not expect that we are going to see dolphins underwater. This is just like the name of the resort. So this is the dolphin house house trip. And this, in this dive site, I would say this is the dive site which is not really damaged with the uh, typhoon. This particular dive site, and then a combination of soft and hard corals here. Especially when we are going to do the safety stuff at the end, we have a nice soft coral garden.
Is for next summer because locals are being helping together, and then that was the start of having this lot of resort, life of the dive center here.
thank you. Okay, day three. Saurus dive. Pescador Island. And then up to White Beach. And then in the afternoon, we do dove Tubal North. Abante gamay ato do? Ato gamay abante ba? Ha? Abante gamay ato para dili kay tadritso ba makaana pa tang gamay. Come back to Pescador Island. Okay? So last time I think we did a dive south to the west so for you guys. And this uh, this time we do the south going to the west side, okay? So this dive site is called White Beach. Okay, White Beach is uh, the area where you can see the White Sand Beach inside. Uh -huh. Okay, but we are in front of the. It's also one of the resorts here, Club Serena Resort, one of the oldest resorts here in Mama. Okay, so top of the reef right now is around uh, 12 feet, 4 meters depth, and then uh, a slope, slope going down to 75 feet. Okay, here in the beginning is more on a slope, okay? So the end of the slope is 75 feet and then the wall. But as we go along, it's more on wall, okay? A bit of a slope and then a wall, okay? So 
Uh, in the slope, you can see a lot of the soft corals mostly on the slope. Okay. okay. Uh, things to see are s mostly small stuff here. Okay, we'll try our best. Me and Tata will look for something. Okay. <laughs> look at the horizon. Tuble is a plant which is like growing a lot here. It's like uh, you know what is sweet potato, right? Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. like crawling in the in, in the ground. It's the same as this one, and this is very. Uh, from, uh, I mean, uh, this kind of plant is really good, and there's also bad side of this one. Okay, now tuble. Most of the local people before is like doing this, uh, they will get this root of doble and they will uh, produce something like a juice and they will just put the one in the shallow part of the ocean and then the fish will, it's not dive, they are going to be poisoned with this one. This is what they are using and uh, now it's not that same as the cyanide that you know killing the corals it's only the fish okay so this this is the way of how they will uh, make fishing before but uh, they stop it now okay, because it's not good also for the turtles as you can see there are some you know the the, the green turtle if you will see the the back of the turtle yes. it's kind of white thing according to those people who are studying with them it's a tube juice or something which is sticking yeah they, i don't know this is what they are saying okay so that's why we call this tobley because of that plant now this type site this is as what i have said lately that this is one of my favorite type site because i can see a lot of things here that was before pandemic and before typhoon 
So that's why I'm coming here. So just, you know, to look what is the reef look like because to be honest, this is my first time diving again here. Okay. Okay. I hope that the wall is, uh, because this is a wall dive, we have some covers, we have some holes that you can also like look, especially when you have flashlight. And then uh, whatever, wherever the current is flowing, we can go either way, this way or that way. Both sides is good. Okay. Day four. Dive number one on day four is Tongo Marine Sanctuary. And dive two is Talisay Point. walls here where you can see all the racks okay so Tongo we use this Tongo before when we don't have the supply from the main line from the municipality okay so here in this area there are lots of Tongo it's a uh, it looks like a basin okay in all this rack they are all over so local people are cleaning this during rainy season okay and then when the rain comes they will stack the water in it and cover it so this water are really useful for washing dishes washing clothes also for taking a bath okay since we ha really have a problem with the water uh, a long time ago okay, okay. so this tongo is very helpful there are lots of these tongo around here so that's why this barangay is called tongo okay so it's a protected area so the marine sanctuary starts from this boy here up to the other side you see the white boy there okay that's the protected area 
It used to be really, really nice in the shallow with all those hard corals and all those colorful fish. But uh, suddenly the typhoon destroyed everything, ruined everything, okay? So in the wall here, in the beginning of the wall, you will see lots of soft corals hanging on the wall, depending on the current. If there will be no current, they will just, they will, just they will not feed, okay? They will just sleep, okay? So uh, you can also see in this uh, wall, you can see some overhangs and small caves, okay? There could be also creatures inside these small caves, okay? Uh, actually, in one of these caves, uh, around uh, 18 meters, something like that, uh, it's, it's a big area, okay? Uh, two divers can fit in, plus the dive master. Okay? Inside this wall, you will see this, uh, we call it electric clamp. It's a clam, hairy red, and then in the middle, there's like electric current flowing in this clam, okay? Yeah, there were like quite few of them inside, so it's nice to get, especially do the video of this one. It's called Talisai Poen. Okay, so this type site is a slope. Okay, so slope mix of hard and soft corals. Okay, probably a bigger chance to see turtles here. Hopefully, okay. hopefully we'll see more turtles here on this side, and then also some macro stuff. Yeah, we'll try to
so this is going to be a quick reflection of four days, ten dives, staying at the Kasai Village Dive Resort. I think that's right. Okay, so um, let's look at the Kasai Resort, which okay, it's been it's a it's a little rundown. But do you know, the staff are really good here. They're super friendly. The boats are excellent. And yeah, I really like the staff in the dive shop. Always available to help, um, answer any questions. And they're always super open. So I really like that. And the dive guides that we've had have been super good as well. They seem to know their stuff. Um, the boats come and pick us up where they should pick us up. We leave on time. Uh, they, they take responsibility for loading and unloading our kit. So no complaints. I think Kasai Village Dive Resort, spot on. Um, I don't have any real complaints at all. Apart from I know a typhoon has just recently gone through here. And I know the pandemics lasted kind of two years. And so the hotel itself is looking a little, a little worn. But apart from that, it's been a really good stay and I would recommend it. I'd definitely give it a thumbs up. As far as diving goes, we did 10 dives. We started with Kasai Wall. And I think I'm gonna split these into nearly the majority of the dives, which are Kasai Wall, uh, Panga Sama Beach, Dolphin House, um, White Beach, Tubal North, Tongo Marine Sanctuary, and Talase Point are all wall dives. If you don't know Mabul, or at least this part of the outcrop of Mabul, is has a wall running. Um, parallel to the shore. The wall varies in depth. I think probably the shallowest it's at is about 40 meters, probably goes down beyond 50 in some areas. And it's one long stretch of wall with lots of dive sites along the wall. We've not really experienced much current, which makes it super friendly if you don't like current. Um, but in the shallow, so Five meters on top of the on top of the wall there's been a lot of damage from the typhoon that passed through here unfortunately so all wall diving I'd say what was that eight out of ten of our dives have been wall dives which actually as it happens I really like wall diving the only uh, the, the the only other thing you've got still more wall dives but uh, Pescador Island, Pescador Island, which is over there. It's about a 20-minute boat ride. Um, two wall dives as well, and you get the choice. You can either travel on the east side around the island, you go on the west side around the island. Um, that's probably the highlight of um, the dive sites here. It gets really deep. The topography of the walls, really fascinating, lots of caves and caverns and little areas to explore um, make it really quite special. And the fact it's on an island away from the shore, uh, there's always the possibility of something big possibly passing by. In fact, listening to the dive guides, that's where the sardines used to hang out over on pa is that Pescador Island. Pescador Island. Um, but the, the sardines hang out there no more. And another reason why you need to come to Molbol is to see the sardines. Speaking from experience, having attempted the sardine run in South Africa and saw a tiny handful of sardines. I know why I saw a tiny handful of sardines in South, a South Africa, because they're all here. There, there is millions and billions and billions of sardines, all in a big school, big... Um, balls and they basically they, when you're diving they black out the sky it's quite amazing how many there are 
and at the moment they're on Pangasama Beach. Now Pangasama Beach, interesting enough, is a local beach where people go and uh, dive, snorkel, swim and so the reef there, the wall there is pretty much damaged and possibly out of all the dive sites I've read to you, um, probably would rate as the worst dive site for the condition of the wall. I think that's fair to say. But you don't go there to look at the wall, you go there to look at the sardines. Um, and like I say, there's billions of them. And you drop in and they're either in two or three little, little shoals themselves or they've managed to get themselves into a really big shoal and that's spectacular to see. Unlike South Africa, there are no big predators here, which is surprisingly here to pick them off, which is surprising, sorry, but here to pick them off. Because in SA, the reason you go and see the sardines is not going to see the sardines. Well, you are going to see the sardines, but you're also seeing, you're going to see the whales feeding on them, the sharks coming in, the dolphins making them into the ball, the birds coming in, and it really looks spectacular. Here, that doesn't happen. There is no big predators. The biggest predator here probably are the jacks and the trevallies that are coming in picking off the sardines. And so the sardine ball, or the shoal of sardines is here pretty much all year round. Um, apparently the threshers, occasionally the threshers come in and you can see them herding up the, the sardines into a bait ball. But I don't believe people, anyone have seen, seen that here for a long time. So I don't know. And it is quite surprising because we've got a huge body of water there and it's deep and there's, there's no sign or real sign of any sharks and there's no reef sharks, which you would expect, which I would expect. And then you look at the topography of some of the walls and, and it's, it's just, it's perfect for reef sharks to hang out in and chill out in. But there's no reef sharks here. So occasionally whale sharks pass through, occasionally threshers I know, another story I've just recently heard, of baby threshers being pulled up by fishermen, and maybe that's the issue. Maybe, maybe all the sharks have been fished out, not to eat, but accidentally. I, I, I don't know. Anyway, back to what I was saying, which was diving in Molbol is definitely worth the trip. Pescador Island, really, really good. Um, and if you don't see anything big on Pescador, you've got that wonderful topography, the depth, the wall, um, all the little caverns and caves. And then obviously the sardines, which like I say, there are billions of them. And they are spectacular, just watching them changing direction and their scales catching the light and so the smaller silver just shimmers as they change so quick. That's worth coming here. So I think four for us, four days, 10 dives was enough um, diving here. And that's kind of what I would, would recommend. You could obviously come here for longer. You could obviously come here for shorter. But I think four days, 10 dives, I think I said that right, four days, 10 dives is about the right amount of time to come and visit uh, Mulval. And there's not a lot to do here outside of your resort. So you kind of says relax the food, they make the food for you. You kind of get an all in, an all in deal. And the food is plentiful and the food's okay. And so in fact, you can eat too much because you're not really exercising much. You're just going out diving, everything's been done for you. So it's very lazy, lazy type diving, which is great. If that's what you're into, then that's fantastic. So that's my review on Mulball. I really enjoyed it here. I thought the diving was okay. It's a shame there's not bigger predators here. You do see turtles here. They're probably the biggest thing you see here. The sardines are definitely worth a trip down and seeing and diving with. And Pescador Island is, is a good dive site, whether you do the east side or the west side. So I would give a thumbs up to Molbol and say, yeah, four days diving here, 10 dives, that's your perfect amount of time. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please click that like, please subscribe. 
And please leave a comment because I'm always prepared to answer any sort of dive questions or travel questions revolving around these, um, these dive trips that we do. And I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, bye for now.